Thanks again for coming back to the channel. I'm super excited to talk to you today about my room makeover. Do I have an intro to this video? I definitely do not, so... <laughs> what am I doing? It's been officially about a few months since I moved back home and one of the first things I wanted to do was to transform my childhood bedroom. And I wanted to show you through the process because it was super long, but it was definitely super fun and I hope um, anyone watching this can relate to remaking the room over and over again. I think when I was younger, I really didn't care too much about how my room looked. It was definitely just a place for me to sleep and do homework. Lots of flashbacks to calculus in high school, but we're, uh, we're okay now. We're no, no longer in school. But as I got older, I got to college, like the room definitely what became a lot more of a priority because it became a personal space for me. It became a place for me to work, relax, and just definitely feel safe. So when I came back, that was my main priority was to make sh that environment back here, back at my home home. So yeah, without further ado, we can kind of jump right into showing how the room le looked like before. This is kind of a sneak peek, but we'll go to what it looked like before. So I'm just kind of looking at some of the old videos that I had when I was take before and after shots. Um, my room was a mess. <laughs> so as you can see in the video, like there was just a bunch of posters everywhere. Granted, those posters were made to me by my friends from high school for our high school rallies. So I cherish them a lot. So that's why I had them all over my room. I saw a, a key club medal, which is, I think if anybody was in key club, you guys remember how it was. Um, but yeah, just a lot of old stuff. Um, it wasn't like place aesthetically, I guess. It was just on the walls. I had this like super old desk with like this giant lamp. The lamp was great, but it definitely got really hot. So <laughs> that lamp had to go. And the desk itself, it was super old. I think it was my sister's. It had like this top part on the desk and we took it off, but it still had like these two metal sticks just popping out of it. So it wasn't optimizing the desk at all. There was also like this little hole on the desk and yeah, the desk gotta go. <laughs> so like everything we need to do, we need to start fresh. I took down all of the posters. I also took down the curtains. It just didn't kind of fit all together. So just took that out and started fresh. Um, when I was taking out my bed too, that bed hasn't been moved in so long. So the back of it was Super disgusting. Uh, <laughs> so I put on some gloves and got to work and vacuum everything out. So once everything was out, it was time to paint the room. Um, and I know a lot of people like to have, you know, different colors to kind of match their energy. For me, I honestly really like just a blank canvas. So I decided to paint everything back to white. Um, so I did that and also that closet. <laughs> oh man, honestly, I don't remember what what went through my mind as a kid, like why was it orange? And two different shades of orange. Granted, it was aesthetic, I guess. But yeah, I, I painted it black to white and then outlined it black. So yeah, we, the room was a great canvas to start and it was time to start refurnishing everything. So refurnishing um, and redecorating. There are kind of three criteria that I wanted to make sure we hit. Um, the first one was it had to be clean. It had to be creative and it had to be cozy. What I mean by clean is that just simple colors, black and white with maybe like a splash of color here and there, nothing too extravagant. To be creative basically just means that for me as a photographer, you know, tech equipment, lighting, all that, just kind of make it feel like it fuels my creativity, like I want to create something out of it. Um, that can also come from books, so I'll talk about that later, but you know, having books in the room as well, just keeps things creative. Um, cozy, it is a bedroom, so I definitely want to have my nice sleep. And I also means that I want it to be personal to me, so I didn't want to just make it look like an Airbnb. So that was my three criteria, and now we're gonna get into it lighting so everyone had that you know this lamp lighting that i feel like everyone is like a rite of passage to have but i definitely got rid of it because it wasn't brightening up the room enough i don't get too much sunlight into this room so i bought this nice um nice light from amazon that had three different types of colors to it 
uh, or three different lighting options to it. Um, you can change it as bright as you want and then you can also turn down the brightness. And it was just super nice. I highly recommend it. It brightens up the room very well and I thoroughly enjoy it. The second lighting source is the LED strips. <laughs> yeah, I am one of those people. I like the LED lights. Um, I think it's just a nice vibe to the room. Sometimes I just have that light on and then just, you know, make the lights fade and fade out. Um, the cool thing about this LED strip, it's by Govi. Um, it's music sync. So sometimes I like to play music from the background or just kind of lay back and just enjoy the lights. Um, it's definitely a vibe and I really, I highly recommend having LED lights in a room. It just definitely adds a different environment to it. And also for the video, it's kind of nice. I'll just keep it blue here. <laughs> I need a water break. All right, so to the main part of the room is the bed itself. And definitely want to invest in a very comfy bed. So I had this queen bed for a very long time now. And I thought about, you know, switching over to a full size just to add a little bit more room because I wasn't able to fit like a Ikea coffee corner desk thing right next to it. But I decided to keep the queen bed to save some money and invest in a really nice pillow. So it's super comfy. I got new bedding from Walmart um, and it's, really brightens up the room with the white and black and I just kept it. I don't put anything on the wall of my bed so that nothing falls on my head. On the side of my bed is the super fun part. So I ordered these two 24 by 36 poster frames um, and this is where I wanted to personalize my room. I decided to print a bunch of photos um, and make a giant collage. So just cutting out the pictures and double-sided tape after a long time of doing that, maybe like five, six hours, I should probably put a time lapse here somewhere. I got these two nice poster frames and I had my dad help me hang it up and secure it. So it was super nice and comfy. It really ties in the room together and it makes the room feel bigger to be honest. And sometimes I just like to look at the pictures and reminisce on my times in college. So if you ever want to kind of personalize your room, I highly recommend just ordering a poster frame and make a giant collage. It shouldn't be too pricey and you can also buy a smaller frame if you don't have the budget for a poster frame. I think it's really nice to have. At the foot of my bed is gonna be the shelf. So I personally thought about getting floating shelves but I thought about after a while and I decided not to like drill a bunch of holes into my wall. So I bought this nice shelf and honestly, great choice for myself. It was five, it's five different levels and I'm still in the process of kind of decorating it, but I knew for sure that I wanted to have a digital clock on top of it. So I bought this nice LED clock off of Amazon and it has different lighting functions. Um, it could be bright or it can automatically dim when you turn off the lights. So it doesn't get bright in your face. Um, it's really nice because as I'm working at my desk, which I'll talk about in a little bit later, I could just turn and kind of see the time. For each of the different levels, I right now I have like photography equipment, some old memories from college, but it really ties in the room and I really like the bookshelf. And right next to it is the blinds. So on this side of the room, I decided to take out the old like brown looking blinds and then just add new fresh ones. I didn't want to add a curtain. I, for now, I just want to keep it nice and simple and that's what it looks like right now. Moving on to the second main part of the room, which is the desk. And before I talk about, I think I'll put a more in-depth review about like my workstation and all that. But for now, I just kind of give you the basis of like the corner. So I want a desk in my room. I took out the old desk and replaced it with the Ikea desk that I had from college. I got like 10 bucks off of Facebook Marketplace and I just repainted it black again. And I put my monitor that I have on as an LG monitor. It's really easy because this monitor, everything's kind of connected to the monitor and I just need a USB-C port to just plug into my, to my laptop and boom, it, everything connects, which is really nice. During Black Friday, I also bought a bigger mouse pad. I had a keyboard that my roommate gave for me and then I bought a new uh, wireless mouse. I had two speakers on the side that I had back in college and I also had my external hard drive there for video editing. And I'll link all these descriptions below. I can't name it on top of my head right now. On the side of my desk, I have this like really cool bookshelf. I enjoy reading. Um, I always wanted this bookshelf. It's actually pink. <laughs> so I I couldn't find like a this size of a bookshelf in black. So I saw one that was pink. I ordered it, bought some paint off of Home Depot. Pa, pa, and yeah, slap some paint on and 
I got a black bookshelf. I have like my books in there and I keep other stuff like trinkets and like pens and stuff because I don't have a drawer right now, but it really ties in the um, ties in like the desk. It's like an extra layer. I put my laptop stand there so I could just connect my USB-C port and boom. On the next side of my room is the closet door. So if you remember, it was orange and now it's nicely painted white and black. Um, I don't really use the second door, so that's why like I don't really need to use the this one sliding door. And then right next to it, the wall um, that I haven't really decorated. Um, it's kind of still in the process, but I added two of the collages that my friend gave me back in college. And right now, I just kind of keep it personal and clean. But you know, as you walk through the door, you kind of just see like a nice clean view of what my room looks like. And that's kind of like the end of the wall by wall, side by side room tour. And now I think I might make a fun cinematic video and just put some B-rolls, which is basically just videos and B-rolls. Fun cinematic. That was terrible explaining. So sorry. Boom. All right, thanks again for uh, watching that video. I'm sorry, this was ter terribly scripted. I'm still trying to get the hang of this. I hope you all enjoy it. And I think the main thing I want to take you to take away from this video is that everything, when you create a room, you just want it to be personal to yourself, like a childhood room. When you walk through the door, you want it to scream like, for me, I just want to walk through the door and be like, yeah, this is Brian's room, right? And a place for you to feel safe and it's personal to use. I would love to hear you know, your advice on how you decorate your room. Um, if you have your own video, feel free to link it down below and try to check it out too. Thanks again for watching the video and I hope to see you next time. Also, I'll try to link everything below in the description that I can remember that I furnished this room. If I miss anything, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll find it for you. Um, and yeah, I didn't really go in depth on like the type of products and stuff, but I can make individual videos for that. All right. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time.